Hey guys, this is Florida Boy Stanislav here with an update video. I am outside. It is March 20th. It's a really nice day. It's maybe 45 degrees, but today's the first day of spring, and you can really see that spring has sprouted. Daffodils, and we got some crocuses down there. Kind of blooming. They're really ugly blooms because I think someone chewed on them. And the hostas are turning purple. Yeah, a lot. And some of the tulips over there are shooting out their heads. So, and you can also see in here some tulips right there. And that's about it. Grass is turning greener every day. But uh, I set up the greenhouse just maybe an hour ago and I put some plants in there. Look at all the moisture building up on the inside. And it is, well, it was 90 something degrees. Dropped down to 82, I think. But I put, I put a bunch of plants in here just to see what, how they would react. But I'm gonna bring them all back in tonight because it's supposed to get down to 28, which kind of stinks. And I brought some other bigger stuff out and the elephant ears. Uh, I don't, I haven't seen much growth on them, so I just wanted to stick them half out of the ground to see if they do sprout. But I did find some rottage on one of them. Actually, there's maybe this one right here. So let's hope those don't rot on me. But uh, everything else looks great. Let's go down the basement. Look at the chives. I picked one and ate one and it was really fresh. So, take a little trip down here. Turn the TV. Okay, let's take a look at the terrarium. Terrarium, nothing much except I'm just gonna let it grow like crazy. It looks really cool. This front right here is getting old. I'll have to chop that one off, but uh, Wandering Jew from Florida and there's going crazy and uh, I'm gonna make a video on how to start these uh, Amarillo seeds, so that's gonna be pretty fun and What else is there? Could you check up on all the seedlings as we see that all about all the tomatoes have sprouted These are the super 100s and we can see the watermelon are sprouting and the onions have sprouted So that's really cool and you can check out the basil right there and the rosemary. And I did take a lot of leaves off the lemon tree because they were just destroyed, crinkled up, turning brown. So I'm like, all right, here, let's just take them off and hopefully the new growth will look better. And check out the new growth on the lemon part of the tree, lemon slash clementine. And I think there's some growth happening between the branches right there. Really cool to see. And check out the bougainvillea. Bougainvillea is putting out leaves all over the place. So has the southern magnolia right here. That's a nice new leaf that's developing. Uh, let's see what else is happening. Uh, should have these outside. But I don't know. Tonight I'm going to bring everything back in. And I don't want to bring so much back down in here. So I'll just leave whatever out there. Some nice growth on the lemon tree up there. And what else? There's a bloom on this plant. Tag, I lost it. Forget what it's called, but it's really cool. And I'm actually starting to see it's turning green again. Because it has it's I hadn't seen the sun. It's seeing this UV light. So and I also made a checklist on all the stuff for plants of 2016. And you know, I did this because I'm bored and I'm on spring break. So I've started tomatoes, watermelon, and onions, which are up there. And then I've started uh, big red zinnias, candy stripe mix zinnias, and the color, multicolor mix zinnias. And these are all the big kind. And then what I'm going to be starting soon are, I picked up some new stuff. Let's see if we could find it. Yep, here it is. I picked up some of these yesterday. Sweet white Spanish onions then I'm gonna be starting not these but I'm gonna be starting these guys I hear when you cook them and like I don't know like microwave them 
with butter or not, no, not butter. No, just naturally microwave them, just without anything. They naturally taste like butter. So I'm gonna try that out, and I actually had these before, and they absolutely do taste like butter if you don't put anything on it. I'm gonna be starting these tomatoes and these regular cucumbers. And then on this side, for the flowers, I'll be starting the purple zinnias, and these get up 36 inches high, and I've never really seen purple zinnias. And then I got some state fair kind from last year I'll plant, and Cosmos. So we're going to have a lot of flowers, and I know I'm not going to be able to put them all in the yard, but I'll be able to give them away to my neighbor over here or uh, my other neighbors. So, you know, something nice to do for the community, or just plant them in an ugly area. So that's about that up there. Let's take a look at the zinnias over here. You see they've all sprouted, and it's really cool. I have them over 50, uh, 50 of them that have sprouted. A lot over here have sprouted. Not much here, but these have sprouted here. And which one? The candy mix ones. They really haven't taken off. But, and you can see this one right here. I think this was the first to sprout out of all of them. And this one's starting to put its, uh, see that little nub in the middle? Let's see if I can focus on it. Yep. That's the, so I'm going to start putting on some new leaves. So that's really cool. And I think I'm going to have them down here until the weather outside, the, the, the lows are above freezing. So let's hope that happens really soon so I can get them out into the little greenhouse. Purple queen, I'm not really sure what to do here. I might clip it back or I might just sit it, stick it out in the garden somewhere and let it do its, th let it do its thing. So that's about it. So thank you for watching, like, and subscribe, and I'll have another update video. And I'll have an update video on the, what are they called, tulips blooming, when they are blooming, and the daffodils. Alright, happy spring, and have a good day.